I'm Mike Pittner. I'm the CEO at MAG, Motorsport Aftermarket Group, uh, and the acting president at Tucker right now. And you've got a little history with the, the MAG group going back to the day? Yes, I was here when we, uh, I was a CFO at MAG uh, back in the day, 2006 and 7, uh, when we sold to uh, Leonard Green. So you, you've seen the, the high times and the low times, and where are we going? Are, are we back on track? Well, that's absolutely right. I mean, we're um, the, the new investment group, and we emerged from bankruptcy in March. And the new investment group realized they wanted some people who knew something about the industry. And fortunately, I was lucky enough to get the call. And when I when I first talked to them, I said, "Well, this is like going back to the dinosaur age when these brands were huge and we roamed the earth." And I know that, so I'm like an archaeologist who's looking for the DNA, and I think we found it. You know, and our most recent announcements, I think, show that. And those recent announcements and DNA. John Potts was the, the last guy Terry Vance hired, and he's been there 15 years, and now he's back. Absolutely. I'm so excited to get John back. He's going to report to me as the global vice president of business development. He knows what branding's all about. He knows all of our brands. He's got great relationships, and we're going to polish those brands up and get back to the top and take our customer back. And, and there really is nobody better than John. When we had the group meetings and stuff, even though it was his brand was Vance and Heinz, he had feedback for every one of the brands in the portfolio. Absolutely, and, and it's been amazing just in the last while we talked in the last few weeks. Of course, putting it together, the number of ideas he has, and of course, what other ideas that that fosters. Uh, I just can't wait for him to engage with all our guys and see where that takes us. And then there's Greg, who's no slouch himself. Oh, let me tell you, I met Greg when I was interviewing to recruiting the president at SNS Cycle when I was the chairman there. And unfortunately for Greg, I found Paul Langley. I kind of now wish that I had not recruited <laughs> Paul Langley to, to SNS, but he's killing it up there. And so Greg just sent me a note saying congratulations when he saw my announcement. And I immediately said, so what are you doing up in Wisconsin? Because with Holker having announced on the first day that I was there uh, that he had cut a deal to go back home or with his wife back to Northern California, I was worried about who are we going to have come in and take over Kiriakin and Mustang. And I don't think we could have found anybody better than Greg to do that. The, the finances, you've emerged from bankruptcy. Uh, most of the, the vendors have been paid, if not all the vendors. Where, where, where does the MAG financial situation sit? We emerged from bankruptcy. Um, we have very limited debt other than normal working capital type of, of debt. Um, all of our vendors, I can't say all of our vendors were paid. Unfortunately, the way the bankruptcy rules work, some of our vendors weren't able to get paid, uh, mostly in the smaller end, which was painful for, for them, of course, and for us. Uh, but we're going to work to get their trust back and get those relationships back. But financially right now, we're, we're doing well. Um, you know, the industry's still a little tight. We've got to come out and tell people we're healthy again. Is there anything else that the dealers need to know about the, the rebuilding of the confidence with the, the MAG brands? I think the biggest thing I'd like the dealers to know is we realize that we have lost their trust. And our sales force at Tucker and with our brands is going to work harder and harder to re-earn that trust and help them grow this business. We lost our seat at the table to help grow this industry. That put it all on drag and WPS to make that happen. But we're coming back, we're going to take our customer back and support this industry. Just like we are with the Strider display, you see, getting bicyclists back into this who are future riders. Challenging times for everybody, especially for the, the MAG group recently, but are we, as an industry, poised to move forward? I, I look at the used bike, everybody looks at the new bike market. Yeah. I look at the number of bikes on the road, new, you know, used bikes are sold three to one. Well, that guy buying a 2010 or whatever, he wants to run with the big boys. Well, we can help him get there. That's what the aftermarket's all about. We just got to get the product to it. We got to show them how to do that. And that's where a lot of our programs will be aimed going into 2019.